What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we have an update for the Infiltra firmware. Now you can download the firmware on a, in a headless form onto your device. So in this video I'm going to be installing it on my T embed. And it's as simple as plugging in to their web flasher, picking the firmware, installing it, flashing it, and then going on my way. So just like any other web flasher, you're going to click on flash, connect your device, make sure that you hold down whatever boot button it is to get your device ready to pair. Once you do that, flash the firmware, and before you know it, it will be done. Once it's done, you're going to want to reconnect to it, and then connect to it over a Wi-Fi connection. Once you do that, you need to put in the IP address that I'm showing above right now. Once you do that, you'll see this setup screen. You're going to go ahead and fill in the information, whatever you're going to call your network to connect to it, or whatever password. And then once you do that, it's going to reboot your device. Once it reboots, you'll be able to see the whole headless display. So the headless display will show you all the capable pen testing features that it will have. So this is pretty much all that you can do currently. What they're doing is they're taking their time, they're building this firmware brick by brick and piece by piece to make sure that everything works nice and smoothly and that it works the way it's supposed to. Right now they're testing it and they actually gave me some insider information recently. I got in contact with the founder and the owner and this is exactly what they told me. Just an update, Headless will get next update Friday this week. So far, I have added submenus, LED feedback, indicators, upgraded, optimized customability, and battery charging metrics, along with some others, and some fixes for the startup beep. Stay tuned, we're gonna be following this firmware and their progression as they grow. I really do like the way that they're doing this firmware, or I think it's gonna be a nice professional free firmware for everybody, which is great. It's nice to see more free material out there for the community and uh, i like what they're doing they're really taking their time building it they have a very small team as well there's not that many people building this thing but you could tell that a lot of thought and care is going into this firmware and that's why i really like it and i look forward to what they produce in the future so go ahead if you want to follow them go ahead and check out their discord they're really good at communicating with everybody in there about what they're doing and improvements that they're making um, i'm also going to be in there as well Definitely something that's worth checking out. I say try out the firmware, see how you like it for yourself. Um, they're going to be improving it, and I'll try to keep up on the updates to let you guys know exactly what's going on. And remember, safety is an illusion. 